about any lineup changes today? Uh, no lineup changes. Uh, Craig Anderson will start in goal, Jordan. So that's the only change. I know there were positives out of the last game. What do you want to see carried over? Uh, yeah, energy, focus, effort. Um, all, all of that was really good, um, and you want that every night. So it's much less of a carryover and much more of just play the way, play the right way, uh, play hard. We had we had rest, uh, so you know that should be out of the equation. It is out of the equation in my mind, uh, and we need to play hard. So, how have you thought that uh, with Peyton Krebs? How have you thought he's looked on on the wing? You know, after I know he played there in Vegas at, early at the season, but you know these last couple better of weeks. and better. You know, he's a guy I, I mentioned. I uh, actually sat down again with him yesterday watching video, and it was, uh, you know, you could see when you go through the video even with him even more how, how much he's picked up and so much detail within the position and within opportunity you have with uh, with that and being in that position. So, you know, I've been very happy with that. Um, you know, he's obviously a young talent, and uh, he's getting better every game. Um, so... Very impressed with his game on the wing, his ability to adapt to different situations that we give him and different responsibilities, and uh, it's a credit to him. When you guys played the Stars at home, I know it became more of a strength game, battles in front of the net. So today, how do you how do you counterattack that? How do you play your game? You know, when it comes to get, you know a team yeah. that's different it, style. Well, yeah, yeah, I mean they're 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 big and strong, but they have a great mix of very very skilled defensemen. I mean, keep in mind this team went to the Stanley Cup final, you know, uh, eighteen months ago or whatever it was, not long ago, less than two years ago, because uh, we had that summer uh, lockout year, uh, you know, pandemic year. Um, so they're they're a highly skilled team, but they also have a lot of big and strong and experienced guys like Ben and Pavelski uh, and Suter uh, on the back end. Um, you have to have respect for what for that for this building. They're great in this building. They feed off of this building. Um, so, but you know specifically, they're they're good off the transition when you lose layers offensively. Um, they're willing to get a lot of transition, believe it or not, off of block shots. They get a lot of transition off of uh, forecheck and forcing you to you know a little hiccup or botch botch your breakout, uh, and they pounce on it. So you know those are areas that we have to be good in. Uh, to get to our game, you know, w when when they have possession or when they're moving, and then our game is pace. We want to establish the pace. They have some very good skaters over there. They can play at a high pace, but we want to make certain uh, we can maintain a high pace. We want them to play at a higher pace through the whole game. Uh, and, and if we can do that, we'll be happy with that and effective with that. How valuable is this experience for Casey Fitzgerald just being bumped up with with Darlene seeing those matchups? Yeah, I mean, I think you know any guy on entry into the league at, at all moments are valuable uh you, you know um, with samuelson and fitzgerald you know you they're getting acclimated to the speed size strength uh you know intelligence of players at this level and you know one night it's uh sydney crosby the next night it's you know the next great star player tonight it's it's the star players on their team and um you know that th they Fitzy internalizes that well. He has a really good base of his position, of his identity as a player. Now he's he's calculating and figuring out, okay, how, how big and strong is Jamie, is Jamie Benn? Uh, you know, how quick is Tyler Sagan? Um, but I love the fact that he's he's built the base through his years of, in the American League and his career, uh, that now is the time to get that experience. That's a totally different uh, deal than, than the development he could get. He can't get that until you're in the NHL. Go ahead. Hi, Don. On Friday, you were able to push the pace very well against St. Louis, one of the better games maybe you've had at it. What made you successful at pushing the pace and kind of getting them back on their heels a little bit? Well, I, I that we put pucks to where we could pursue them when we couldn't execute uh, what was directly in front of us. You didn't have an odd man rush. Or you didn't have time and space. Uh, which they're good. Good teams are great at taking it away. This team today is incredible with their defensemen and their defensemen's mobility and intelligence at limiting your time and space. So at that point, you have to, you know, coaches historically would say get pucks behind. But, you know, we talked to our guys about get pucks where you can pursue them, where you can put pressure on them. I thought we did that very well. Puck placements. 
is a term that uh, is used around the league now. Uh, and I thought we did a much better job at that. Uh, we obviously had way more energy than we did the previous game for many reasons, um, and we put that to use. But, you know, we – you know, we do want to play that way, Paul. Obviously, get get to pace game, and a lot of it is contingent upon where we put pucks.